Hello guys, it is Eric here again. Um, found a little bit of time. Time to make a video. So in this video, I'm going to be going over um, how to kind of write the base bucket plugin for sending a packet. And then in the next couple videos, I'll go over more in this. But this is mainly just how to get um, the hello world packet we made last time to be sent from the client to the server, or from the server to the client, sorry, um, when you join the server. Yeah, um, this is not going to be like a bucket to, well, I mean, it is bucket, but I'm not going to be like going into depth of bucket. That's, yeah, this is going to be a very simple overview of bucket and more into like, here's how we register a packet and all that jazz and the framework for that. Um, first, you're going to want to download um, Spigot 1.8. Point eight and protocol lib. Um, you could use bucket if you want, but I'm going to use bigot since I already have it on me. And then we're going to need protocol lib. Make sure you get the one for 1.8. There's different versions of it. Uh, I'm just going to make a new folder. Let's call it server because I can't come up with a better name. Uh, both of these in here. And what I'm going to do is make a new folder. We're going to call it plugins. If you already have a server set up, you can just drag protocol lib in there. All good. Um, going to get a command prompt, copy it, oops, I need to say cd our location java dash jar, that, run this, and then it's going to generate some files, uh, we need to agree to the EULA, let's do that real quick, go back to here, Run it again. Now we're just going to, it's just going to generate all the little files for us, make a server. Um, probably, if you already have a server for your client, then just, as I said, put it in the plugins folder. But for those who don't, here's overly simplified explanation of setting up a server. Uh, oh, looks like an update for protocol. All right, whatever. Yeah, I'm using 1.8. A little bit out of date, but that's fine for this series. Um, cool, we have a server. I'm going to stop it for now, since I don't, don't need it. Um, this is going to be where we're going to like test our plugin. Um, yeah, now let's actually go on to uh, writing uh, the plugin. You probably can already tell I don't have a script for this video, so I um, didn't have time to write one, really. And I found some time where my roommate's not here, so yeah. Um, let's call this... Um, Example client plugin. I don't know. Can't think of a better name. Um, so then what we want to do is right click, say build path, add external archives, and we want to go to our folder, which is Minecraft or no, where it's just in my desktop. I called it server. Should have come up with a better name. Okay, we want to add spigot jar to it. And then we also want to add our protocol lib plugin. Well, not mine, the, the one we download. You, you get what I'm saying. Um, let's make a package, call whatever you want. Let's go just example client dot server. Good, good enough. Chirp. Uh, let's quit. Oopsies. Uh, let's quickly make a main class file. And this is going to extend Java plugin and implement listener. Not spell that right at all. Listener, listener. Import those. All right. Now that we have those imported. Um, just like every bucket plugin, we're gonna need um our plugin. YML, so let's make a new file. We're going to call this plugin.yml. Oh, and it's going to open in a place I just didn't want it to. Well, now you got to see some stuff for my website. Cool, yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to need um, name. I said it's not an extensive bucket tutorial, so let's just call it example client server. For example client plugin, good enough. Uh, main is going to be where our main is. So example client.server.main. 
as we call their file main.java uh, version 1.0. Uh, I think what else do I need for bucket? It's been a while since I've done bucket. I think you need an author. You might not need an author, but then there's also the description. D E S C -E R I P T description example client plugin that does stuff and things. I don't know. And then we also need to say depend D E P E N D. We need to say depend on protocol lib. I always mess the spelling of that up. There's our plugin. Uh, super simple. We're gonna say on enable. We want override for now. Uh, let's just make sure this works by saying get logger dot info. Hello world. So let's export our plugin. Make sure this actually runs. So we're gonna say general or no. What do I want to say? Java jar file. Make sure you're exporting the plugin and it has the plugin YML. Don't export your client. That's a plugin that's not a, yeah, not a good idea. Let's just call this example client server plugin. It's good, good enough. I don't have good names games for things. Let's run our server again. And we should see it prints hello world. Hopefully. Look at that. Hello world. It worked first time without a script. That makes me happy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop this. No need for it anymore. Uh, yeah. What was I doing? Closing that. Okay, so <sighs> sorry. I feel like I'm rushing this, but I, my roommate is out right now, and I'm just trying to like get this kind of done, you know. Um, so I'm gonna make a new package called packets, and just like the client, we're gonna make one called EC packet which is going to be the base class, and we are going to say implements packet. And then we're going to import net Minecraft server. And now, when I add the unimplemented methods, you'll see they're called A, B, you know, A, A, and B, because the server is obfuscated. Um, the, the functions in there are all named A and B and stuff. Um, it's... You know, it's fine, but it's not great when writing a plugin, I feel like, because I get confused. Well, what's the difference between A and B? How do I know which one is write and read and all that stuff? So I'm going to make this abstract, and I'm going to add a few functions. This is going to be public abstract void read packet data. It's going to have packet data packet data serializer. Let's call it data. And I forgot it's abstract, so I can't do that. All right, I'm going to want one that's for write data. Or write, write packet data. And then I want another one called handle. And it's going to take packet listener. And we'll just call it listener. L-I-S-T-E-N-E-R. Listener. All right. Uh, I'm going to move this up here just because it makes sense to me. Uh, call that data, data. This one's going to be listener. And we're just going to call read packet from A, pass in data, write packet data, pass in data, handle, pass in listener. This way that it's a little extra work, but this way when we have like S packet, hello world, we can have the same name schemes as we do uh as we as we do on the client to make it easier at least for my brain at least to comprehend you can leave it as a and b if you want but i find it easier to do that way um now what i want to do is ooh, excuse me make two packages server and client just like last time any packets that are sent from the server go in here. Any packets that are sent from the client go in there. So we're going to say s packet is going to extends ec packet. And this is also going to be abstract. I need to slow down a minute. Whew. Okay, we're going to override handle. And we're going to override read packet data. Well, that didn't work. 
Eat pack of potatoes. Oh, no way, Eclipse just did that. Um, so for handle, it's sent. Just a note for myself: sent from servers won't be getting. Uh, won't be getting messages back. Sent from server. Basically, yeah, won't be won't be reading data. We only are interested in the write function. Um, then for the client, C packet. I ooh, I can't check the box. Say it's abstract. Give me some keystrokes. Extends EC packet. Uh, and this one is going to be write because it's sent from the client. We don't actually need to write any data. We're just going to read. Sent from client, no need to write data. All reminders, pretty much. Um, now let's make our hello world packet. So s packet hello world. So sent from the server, same naming scheme. Extends s packet. Uh, the unimplemented method, and we're actually not going to write any data to this packet because on the client side of things, if we look back, you can see we're not actually reading any data. We're just printing out server says hello hard-coded. Um, so no need to send any data. I mean, we can, but it's going to be lost. We're not actually going to read it. Um, I'll be covering more extensive packets and sending and receiving different types of data in the next couple tutorials, but this is going to be the simple packet, just sending s packet, hello world. Um, next thing we need, let's make another class called packet IDs. Now if you remember from my last video, I told you to remember this number. For me it's 74, it might be different for you. We need to remember that. And we're going to write it down in here, we're going to say public static final int s packet Hello world equals 74. Now the reason we have to do this is the way I am registering my packets, I have to tell Minecraft, the, the server, what packet ID it should get. Um, the client and the server normally when registering it's just the order you register things in, but since I can't edit the server jar, well, you Okay, for this tutorial, I'm not going to edit the server jar. I'm going to write a plugin that can work with any 1.8 jar, but you, yeah. You theoretically could do it the other way, but I, never mind. Never mind, forget the past things I said. I should edit this out. Um, we just need to know the ID, so when we tell the server, hey, this packet exists, here's the ID, here's the class, and then it figures it out. So I'm going to close all these. I don't need them open. Um, now let's make the hard class, which is going to be custom STM packet manager. This is going to handle everything with registering custom packets and sending custom packets and all that jazz. Um, I'm going to try to go slow for this because this is going to be a complicated piece of code to write. So we're going to say private static final hash map of class of a wildcard extends ec packet it's not going to let me import things for a little bit and then we're going to say packet type which is a protocol of class we're going to say packet to type equals new hash map i guess we could just copy this print paren semicolon control shift o imports everything i'm going to make this bigger um, now we want a public static void register, or EGIS e register packets. What the heck? I didn't pack, pack it. I, P -A -C -K. I say one word and then I type another one. Man, dyslexia. Alrighty. So here comes kind of the main bulk of it, which is going to be private static void register packet class of a wildcard extends EC packet packet class 
inch packet ID sender sender. You can import sender from protocol lib. We're going to say packet type. Uh, name packet type. Good enough. Equals new packet type. And we are going to say protocol um, dot play because I'm sending all of my packets over um, the play enum. Um, then we want to say sender is that. Um, current ID is going to be uh, packet ID. Legacy ID, we can just set to negative one. And we don't need to put any names in there. Uh, we want to then say packet to type. Oh, packet to. Oh, no, this. Packet to type dot put. Uh, the packet class packet type. Then we're going to say, um, let's see, final. Uh, I guess this could be final, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't want that to change. I want to say final enum protocol. Um, protocol equals enum protocol dot play. Now that I think about it, I'm actually going to Move that here, we're going to change this to protocol. So this is never going to change. Oh man, I'm dumb. You know, they're both named play different things. Ugh. I got mixed up. I need to cut that out. Uh, we need to say final EM protocol direction. Um, call it direction equals packet. We're going to do an inline if statement packet type dot is client question mark enum protocol direction dot server bound colon enum protocol direction dot client bound. Um, now let's do a try catch catch except we'll do I think it's legal argument exception or legal access exception yeah yeah uh, dot print vectors so when we're going to say um, basically what we're going to try to do is we need to we need to call protocol dot a dot put the packet ID in the packet class that's what we want to do but um, it, protocol .a isn't actually public, so we need to do a little um, magic here, I'll call it, in order to put it to the correct place in even protocol direction. So it's just like what we're doing with our client, except a lot more complicated in, in the way of doing it. So we're going to say map. Of enum protocol direction, enum protocol direction, comma by map of integer to class of a wild card that extends extends packet that as a wild card, <laughs> it's just a wild card, the map equals cast of this um, of field if I yield utils dot read field and we want to read a field of uh, forget which one is it we want to do? We want to, I guess, yeah. We just want to say, sorry, read field 
um, of, let's see, that would be protocol J as the object true. And I believe it is the, this one, yeah. This is a by map of the eye. And import everything. And that all should be fine now. That stupid long thing just to get the map. Now we're going to say by map. I keep saying by like by. Yeah, by map of integer. A and T E by map of integer comma class of wildcard extends packet of a wildcard um by let's call it by map equals map dot get oh what I call it the map dot get um and we want to pass it in um the direction This is supposed to be integer. Then we want to say by map dot put the integer of our packet ID and then the packet class. And now this is going to error out and we're just going to say cast it. And then we're going to say the map dot put direction by map. That should be it for that try. Now we're going to say <sighs> map of class of wildcard of enum protocol. Let's we'll call it map because I don't have a better name for it equals cast of this accessors dot get field accessor of enum protocol dot class map dot class true uh, oops supposed to be that one There we go, that's spelled right. Uh, then we're going to say map.put packet class protocol. Whew! Done with that one. Uh, now we just got um, another couple things more to write. I know. So we want to say public static void send custom packet to the bucket player. And then it, uh, we'll do s packet we want to send. Import the bucket player. So we want to send any type of s packet. So I mean, I guess all of these technically actually. Well, no, well, yeah, no, I mean, yeah. we need to register client packets too, but for sending, we just want to send that. So we're going to say packet container. Sorry, I'm getting a little bit confused just because I don't have a script and I really should have written one. Container equals new equal hello e equals new packet container packet type packet to type dot get packet dot get class comma packet we're going to say try and we are just going to catch innovation in i n o v why can't we spell i n v o cation target exception and then we're just going to print stack trace. Uh, and while I'm at it, actually, to do check to make sure that the client is, is 
an example client client before sending packet. I will cover that in a future tutorial, but the problem is if you send a packet that the client doesn't know, it'll just be disconnected from the server. And we don't want necessarily, you might not want people to be disconnected from the server if if they're not using your client. So yeah, we want vanilla clients to be able to play as well. Um, but then if we want to, we can kick vanilla clients and only allow our client if we so choose so. Or if, yeah, if we sh so choose to, words late at night, brain not working. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm going to say protocol library dot get protocol manager dot send server packet player is going to be player, that's going to be container should be good for this thing and then I'm also going to want a public static packet type get custom packet type, give it a class, a wildcard that extends EC packet, class, we're just going to return packet, packet to type dot get class, perfect, return that. Now all that's over, we're just going to cross our fingers and hope it works. Um, a few more things we got to do, though. Big bulk of this is done, though. We need to actually register our packets. We're going to say register packet. Um, packet is going to be spacket hello world dot class. Packet ID is going to be, remember we made a class, packet IDs dot spacket hello world. And the sender is the server. The server is sending the packet. That makes sense. <sighs> now in our main thing, we are going to say um, we want to initialize all the packets. We're going to say custom packet manager dot register packets. And then what I'm going to do is uh, when the player joins the server, we're just going to send them a hello world packet. So I'm going to say at uh, event handler public void on jo player join. What is it? Player join event? Yeah. It's been a while since I've done some actual bucket stuff. So, you know, let's see. What I want to also do is... Uh, Let's do player p equals get player, control shift o. Just temporarily for my testing server, I'm going to say set game mode to be game mode.creative, and I'm going to p dot set op true. I'm going to opt myself as well every time I join because it's an offline server. I still need to do that though. Then we're going to say custom packet manager dot send custom packet. Player and new s packet hello world. Oh, I called it p not player. Whew. Okay, now let's export our thing. We're gonna say export this. Finish. Yes. Great. Another thing we have to do though is we have to uh make our server offline mode for testing. So I'm going to say where it says online mode, false. Uh, I personally want it to be peaceful mode, and I guess I can make it creative by default. That's about it you really need to do. Um, now let's start our server and hope it doesn't crash, because that would be unfortunate. What did I do wrong? Class caps accession. Uh, default field accessor cannot be cast to map. Okay, well, I'll be back. And I'll just edit this all out. Alright, I found my bug. I forgot to say dot get and pass the protocol. <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. So we're going to export it, and then we're going to say finish, and let's start the server back up. 
And hopefully, it should not error this time. Haha, -ha, look at that. We didn't error. Perfecto. So now what we're going to do is click on our client package and run it. I'm really going to hope all this works because I'm not sure how much more time I'm going to have before my roommate comes on in. And then it's can't really record because it's just super loud in here and stuff. All right, let's go to multiplayer. We should see our server. We say join. And we don't see our, we, we don't see it. Oh, you know what might be the problem now that I'm thinking about it? Um, what is it? Like bucket dot get you. What? So like get plugin manager dot what is it register do I have to maybe I'm just wrong no I want to say register events this this right that's how bucket works I have to register my listener Okay, let's export our plugin again. You know, this is why I should really write a script for things. I'll, yeah, okay. See if this works. And we should see in here. Ha ha, server says hello. We got our packet. Woohoo. Um, whew, okay gonna be it for this tutorial uh next one hopefully i'll have a script <laughs> or i might just record it right now when my roommate's still out and, you know maybe that would be good okay yeah uh thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video